Hey guys, so August 2nd, 2022, again, I'm out here in the garden. So I picked a bunch of peppers, aren't they pretty? Uh, but I wanted to show you, since I was out here, this raised bed has 41 plants in it. Um, and we use small tomato cages to stake them up because they do get heavy. And then, you know, pepper plants are kind of fragile. They tend to break off easy. so. They help, especially if you have uh, some strong winds coming in um, and you have a lot of heavy peppers on them. Uh, really helps them a lot. But one of the things that's really great about peppers is they are so easy to um, dehydrate or freeze, whichever you prefer. I don't have a lot of the room in the freezer anymore, so I'm doing dehydrating, which I love. But um, so all you have to do is wash them, clean the seeds out, and then freeze them or dehydrate them. So you could even take like these big bell peppers, uh, wash them, cut the tops off, clean the inside out, and freeze them just like that. Then you have them for stuffed peppers or whatever you want to use them for. Or just chop them up um, as you would use them in any of your cooking so we have a lot of different kinds. We have banana peppers, we have bell peppers, we have this little lunchbox mix peppers. Um, none of them are hot because we don't like hot peppers. Anyway, there you go. Uh, next it'll be some cabbage that I'm gonna harvest. But I wanted to show you too, we planted some marigolds in with our cabbage. Uh, because it says it's a good companion plant. But one thing we noticed is that the marigolds really attract some nice pollinators. So right now, as our pumpkin and squash are flowering, um, we need those pollinators to germinate. So that's why we have those and it's working really well. But um, there you have it. Hope you guys are having a good day. And I'll talk to you soon. See ya.